Abia Jones was a beautiful, bright child. Everybody liked her. She had just a way of making people feel positive and smile. She was also a top honors student and widely respected by her teachers and classmates. To this date, her death remains a mystery. Many questions still surround her death at the Maury's Mariner's Landing Pier after she fell from the giant wheel ride during a school trip in June 2011. Many things about her death just don't make sense. She was just a child, yet allowed to take the famous giant wheel ride alone, even though the ride gondolas do not have safety bars, cages, or belts. Someone who could merely be kneeling or standing too close to the open-styled gates of the ride's gondola can easily lose balance and fall. People aren't even supposed to stand once the wheel starts turning. However, there is nothing in place that can prevent them from standing and even dancing. Nevertheless, Abia did take the ride that day, apparently alone, and she fell to the ground halfway through the ride from about a hundred feet high. The fall was simply unsurvivable. She died and justice was never served. The investigation did not answer any questions and the amusement park wasn't even fined. To this day, her devastated family is still struggling to get her some justice. Let's now take a look at the Abia Jones mystery death at Maury's Piers Parks and the following investigation in detail. On Friday, June 3rd, 2011, 11-year-old Abia Jones of Pleasantville, New Jersey, was with her classmates from Pleasant Tech Academy. Like all of her classmates, she was super excited and happy. It was supposed to be a day full of fun activities and socializing at Maury's Piers Amusement Park. Maury's Piers and Beachfront Water Parks is a lovely classic seaside amusement park on the Wildwoods Boardwalk in Wildwood, New Jersey. It has more than 100 fascinating rides and attractions across its three massive amusement piers and two beachfront water parks. The Ferris Wheel, which is also called the Giant Wheel or the Observation Wheel, at the Mariner's Landing Pier is known as a definite must for visitors because from its highest point, about 156 feet off the ground, one can see the beautiful coastal areas, the entire park and details, and everything else in the horizon. Some people even take food with them and dine in the gondolas, which include a middle table. For some strange and rather suspicious reason, Abia decided to take the ride alone, which technically shouldn't even been allowed, especially by children under 16 years of age. Yet minutes before 12.30 p.m., she was allowed to ride. No one saw if she was alone or not. No one noticed if she was fine or not. Apparently, the nearest gondolas to her were also empty and thus no one saw her, nor what she was doing. The ride's operator didn't see or observe anything wrong. Everything was normal until she hit the ground. At exactly 12.30 p.m., the ride was in motion when Abia fell from her Ferris wheel gondola and hit the ground quite hard. She fell in the middle of the passenger loading area of the ride on the boardwalk. Her body was crushed and her severe head injury meant one thing she had no chance. Many children, including some of her schoolmates, saw her fragile body on the ground as Bland began pooling next to her head. It was a tragic and horrific scene. The park was packed with school children from various schools attending a special school-related promotional day called Education Extravaganza. Some people even rushed to the scene to see what was happening as people gathered near her bleeding body. They were terrified but couldn't help but look as she slowly faded away. The park staff rushed to the scene with first aid kits and tried to stop the bleeding, but there was very little they could do. Her head simply hit the ground far too hard and her vital signs were getting weaker every second. The ambulance services and paramedics arrived within minutes. A medical helicopter was initially called for, but the paramedics at the scene, seeing how grave Abby's injuries were, decided not to wait and took her to the hospital in an ambulance. She was driven to a nearby hospital where she was pronounced dead about 45 minutes later. The park closed the Ferris wheel and a few others nearby but kept the rest of the park open throughout the afternoon. 
It was not until 4 p.m. that the amusement park's owners decided to close the entire park for the remainder of the day. The entire park reopened the next morning, but the giant wheel remained closed. Abia was the first death of a patron in the history of the family-owned Maurice Piers Park. The cause of her death is still a mystery. No one has been able to figure out why she fell. Initial reports by the park and police stated that the problem didn't appear to be mechanical. As per the park, Jones was probably alone in one of the gondolas, which is secured with a double latch. The door of the car opens inward, making it sort of difficult to climb out. According to the police, based on the location where Abby was found, the trajectory of the fall indicates that she fell from her gondola about 100 feet off the ground. Police investigators did not find any credible witnesses that could confirm if she was alone or not. Apparently, no one saw anything until after she hit the ground. However, one of the security cameras captured part of Abby's fall halfway through because it was not directed towards the high parts of the giant wheel. The investigators took photographs of various passenger carts on the Ferris wheel, part of which was covered in white sheets. According to the New Jersey Department of Community Affairs, the wheel passed an inspection on March 17, 2011. In the next few weeks, the investigators concluded that there was no sign of horseplay or anything intentional. Their statement said, We don't know if it was a freak accident, or maybe she was looking around. We don't know. With no witnesses and very little video, investigators don't know what caused 11-year-old Abia Jones to fall to her death. The investigators inspected gondola number three, where Abia was assumed to have been before the fall. All of the other cars were also checked and no mechanical defects were found. The investigation concluded with the following mysterious statements. Investigators did find that a patron, either kneeling or standing on the seat, could fall from the ride if they lost their balance, chose to leave the vehicle or simply leaned too far out of the ride. Absent of any witnesses or conclusive video, it is unknown which of these occurred. It can be said with some confidence that the victim was not properly seated in the vehicle. The hint that she may have jumped was widely disputed and met with anger by everyone who knew Abia. They all described her in general and on that day to be a strong person who likes to have fun, always positive, and never a negative person. Her parents were devastated. They simply didn't know what to do. Once they came to their senses, it was too late to launch an effective lawsuit, which by law must be filed within 90 days of such incidents. However, they did not give up, and are still looking into the safety provisions for Ferris wheels, as well as the accident record at Maury's Piers. They want to know exactly what happened, why there are gaps in the investigation, why Abia was not informed of the safety precautions before getting on the ride, and why Abia was alone. They are also pushing for tougher guidelines, including requiring some sort of safety harness or restraints for all rides. Their legal case did hit some roadblocks, however. According to some sources, the case is now in the US Supreme Court, and it will still take a while for a final judgment. Maury's peers and or the manufacturer of the Ferris wheel could be eventually found legally liable based on negligence. Abby Jones's parents are not asking for damages. Everywhere we looked, we found something missing from the investigation. There is simply something mysterious about her fall. Where were you that day? Did you see anything suspicious? Let us know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell button to get notified every time we upload a new video that will take you to the heart of the scenes and mysteries of some of the most terrifying incidents, accidents, disasters, and paranormal events from around the world.